Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Very good morning to you in the name of our Lord God and Savior King Jesus Christ. As you know that these days we are concentrating on a topic called as above. And we are also looking at the beautiful things that have come from above. And in today's day, let's talk about wisdom that comes from above. So to know more about it, let's read the word of God from the book of James chapter 3 verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. See this, that the wisdom that is from above is first of all, it says, it is pure. That means uncontaminated, it's clean, it's holy, okay, and it's perfect. Then, then peaceable. Then it's peaceable. Gentle. Gentle. Willing to yield. Willing to yield. Full of mercy. Full of mercy. And good fruits. And good fruits. Without partiality. Without partiality. And without hypocrisy. And without hypocrisy. So my dear brothers and sisters, the wisdom that comes from above, what is this wisdom? This wisdom is a particular character, okay? Or a personality that comes from above, comes from God, comes from heaven. It's like this is one of the most important characteristics of the Holy Spirit. Okay, this is inbuilt. This is what the Holy Spirit is all about. The Spirit of God is all about. So that when this is made available to us, when the wisdom of God is made available to us, then these are the other things that follows it. You cannot avoid it. It follows. And then when you and I are filled with the wisdom of God, then these are the things that really are embedded to us. And these things will be found in our life. If we see any of these th things missing in our life, that means we are lacking wisdom from above. We may have the worldly wisdom. We may have the human wisdom. You may have the technological wisdom, you know, that's available by way of so much of book knowledge and all this thing. But the real wisdom that comes from above has these beautiful things embedded in it. Can we just listen to it once again? That is, first of all, the wisdom that comes from above is uncontaminated, it's pure, then peaceable, then gentle, gentle, willing to yield, willing to yield, that means to receive and to give, then full of mercy, it's full of mercy and good fruits, it's good fruits, without partiality, without partiality and without hypocrisy, and without hypocrisy. You see these beautiful things, uh, so if you look into it, you may get into almost uh, seven concrete characteristics, okay, and all of it is pure. All of its pure. So it's uncontaminated. That means it's very clean. There's no hypocrisy in it. It's always there to achieve things. Okay. It's very peaceable. Tries to solve things very beautifully and nice. So this wisdom is the most important thing that man needs to grow, to prosper, and to make it to the top in his personal life. So this wisdom is what you and I need in our life. Okay. So my dear brothers and sisters, we're going to be praying to God this day and telling God, God, there's lots of wisdom available in the world. It's like you look at the TV, we get some wisdom. We read some books, we get some type of wisdom in that. We listen to somebody, we get some type of wisdom from that person. But the real wisdom with all the best in it comes from above and comes from God. Today, fill us with that wisdom that comes from above so that we go out like ambassadors coming from above. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, today we ask of you to fill us with the wisdom from above and help us to experience your wisdom from above. Help us to go forth with all these characteristics of the Holy Spirit embedded in us and help us to be people who have come from above, living in this world for a purpose well known to you and help us to do things the way you want and help us to experience the things the way you want. We make this prayer in Jesus' mighty name, our Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. My dear brothers and sisters, you have a nice day today, filled with the wisdom of God. Till we meet again, goodbye and God bless you.